What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Count on it. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Do you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Okay. Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. 
You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinners, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad. But the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. <laughs> I told him I was Archangel. End of discussion. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it?
But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days. Running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking his alcohol through a straw. I'd call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. Oh, yeah? Who flies around?